Hello, this is Snowy Clover, and welcome to part 4 of my little server tour here. Today we're gonna check out Dani's base, um, Jay's base, and depending on how much time is left, we're gonna check out the golem of spawner that Jay built, and maybe maybe one or two of the little bases of the not so active players here on the server. So let's let's get right into it. Uh, we're here at the spawn portals and Danny's portal is this way, um, east. So let's walk through our convenient tunnel here and there's already a green sheep here and a cow. <laughs> I, thought we s I think we saw them before. Uh, this is the Danny's portal room, very you know, colorful. I showed that in episode 2 of the server tour. So let's check out his base, his house. Uh, perfect weather. <laughs> so let's see. Um, this is his house. Uh, it's very red with all the acacia wood, but looks, you know, it looks very futuristic. I think it looks like a very modern style house with the smooth stone and the, the white stained glass, uh, uh, that's really a good look. I think everyone's discovered that by now. <laughs> There's a lot of level of builds that use the the white stained glass and white stained glass panes. So let's see what we have here. Nice floor pattern, very reminiscent of the of the puddle room in the nether. Sort of a carpet here, maybe. Or just a platform. And here we have a nice map war with maps in items item frames and once they finish loading it should look pretty good. Come on, finish loading. So we're we are right here. Um that's the shape of the house. Also very modern. Very cool looking design. And I'm not sure which direction. If we're here, I think out to this side he has his farmland, which we are gonna check out as well. So let's finish up the inside here. I, I haven't been up here before, so let's see what's up here. Looks like a yeah, bedroom with a nice window in the, f in the floor and, and in the ceiling, so very, very open, very bright, a lot of light. Still a lot of red with the acacia wood, but looks good. It, for my for my personal taste, it's a little bit too red. I don't know, I wouldn't want to live here, but it definitely looks cool. Um, what have we here? Nice staircase, nice fountain, looks very, very, you know, good here in the middle of the room very important very yeah stylish and centered here looks looks good works well uh, the ins inside fountain inside of the staircase and the staircase wrap wrapping around it to the right and to the left it's a cool cool design so what's this here looks like a storage area yeah storage area furnace array um, I'm not sure if there's anything else here to show in the house. Balcony, one of one of a few balconies, I guess. Um, only thing is, I don't remember which way to go from here to get to the farmland. So let's. I think it was that way. I was again very very close lightning. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die here during one of these episodes. Let's hope it didn't destroy anything. I didn't see where it struck. So, hard to tell. So, let's 
So there's another balcony over here. I think that's that's the way it faces back to spawn and the farmlands on the other side. But let's quickly go through the nether. He has a bottle there, so it should be good. So this is Dani's house. Um, again, same criticism as I had for Rom's towers. Just not enough inside. Oh, a bunch of cows outside here. Bunch of escaped cows, so let's see how many escaped on the other side of the portal here. Yeah, there's a cow. So that's his farm area. He has a nice big field here with wheat and I guess that's carrots or is it potatoes. I can never tell. I don't know. Can can you even tell? Is there a difference between the in the leaf? Uh, design for for carrots and potatoes. I, I don't even know. Nice roofed forest right next to his farm area. Desert over there. And his house should be up there. But not quite loaded in. A uh, bunch of escaped animals. He has sheep. He has a, ho a whole bunch of animals in here. And an automated chicken farm. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a lot of chicken <laughs> already. So that seems to be working fine. There's a witch over there in the acacia farm or whatever. What do we have here? Probably automated. Yeah, automated. And a cow in there. Automated um, melon or pumpkin farm. Or both, maybe. Let's see what's this over here. Uh, oh, nice cocoa bean farm and sugarcane farm. Also very useful for villager trading and things like that. Wiring on the roof. So let's see if we can't get the house to load in from here. Feels like it should be right up there. It's not quite loading in. Just to get another view, an outside view of the house. We haven't really seen the house from the house from the house from the outside, so uh, I should try and get a good look. Oh, over there, it's ways away still. Oh yeah, now now it's it should be loading in. Let's climb up here. Yeah, as I said, very very modern, very futuristic style house. But it looks looks cool. Uh, and it's a little more decoration and furniture and stuff. And in my opinion, again, it's the same as yesterday. Um, but other than that, really a, a really cool build. I really. I really like the style. It's a very different style. It's nothing I've, you know, seen too much of already. So, same with the towers, Rom's towers. They, they are also different in a way. Not your typical Minecraft style build. That's always nice when you have the ability to build something that's different. It's unique in a in a way. That's what I try to do with my western town, but then a whole lot of YouTubers and probably a whole bunch more of non-YouTubers started doing that, which was a very obvious thing to do in hindsight with the horse update. Uh, yeah, but whatever. It's still kind of unique, my village, I think, or my town. So we have 10 minutes already. Uh, to hurry. We want to cover everything in this episode. So, what's next? Uh, we haven't visited Jay yet, but his base isn't finished, so he's probably not too keen on showing it to the world, so um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or skip it today. 
Let's why not? Let's quickly check out. Uh, I think there's two bases in this area that I haven't really checked out myself in a while. Um, there's two users that aren't you know that aren't playing as much as you know Stale Coffee or Che or Oms or I are playing. So um, I'm not too familiar with what they what they've been up to. So uh, that's Akanchalor and Mattel Master should be. I think Mattel Master is at the second portal in this tunnel. Or maybe at the third. I'm not sure. I think that's Cancelo up there, so it should be Mattel Master right here. Yes, looks like it. What do we have here? Um, storage area. More white stained glass. Everyone's <laughs> using white stained glass, and you know, you can't afford them. It's a really nice looking block. So, wheat farm down there. Um, more space over here. What's this? I don't know what this is. Might be some sort of a chicken farm. I heard a bunch of chickens. How do I get? How do I get down there? Is there a way down somewhere? Door. Oh, the dirt here probably is the door. Oh, yes. Just to remember to seal it up when we leave. Um, so a little storage area here, that's Mattel Master Space. Big array of furnaces, a whole bunch of cover, and sand obviously, dug out. This area here so it's gonna have plenty of sand and sandstone and copper seems like what's over here maybe a way down it could be a safe drop okay I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Sounds like a chicken farm. Coop one, coop one dispenser. Hmm. <laughs> Looks interesting. I have no idea what it is, though. Really, it might just just be a chicken farm, but I've never seen a design like this. Where does this go? Huh, interesting. I have no idea. <laughs> if anyone knows what kind of a design this is, if it, maybe it's something he designed himself. Okay, there's a bunch of chickens in here, and more chickens over here, and a way out here. That's interesting. I have no idea how this works. Very interesting design. I uh, I'm at a loss here, so <laughs> we're just gonna leave. Um, maybe I'll be able to find out how and what exactly this is and how it works at a later date, and I might tell you guys <laughs> if you're interested so now we have to make sure to go in the right direction we want one more portal I think that's the right direction uh, the visit Cancelor yes should be right here Oh yeah, that's uh, that's progress. I haven't seen that farm area yet. I know about the house, so let's see what we have here. Wheat farm. Um, 
probably I don't know if she's gonna put a ceiling on top or not, but a you know looks like a glass house kind of thing. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a nice little farm area. Looks good. I really like the. I like the acacia wood. I just don't. I just don't want to live in anything built of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, here as a floor, you know, it's not. It's not. It's not too bad. It's. It works well with the sandstone. I don't know. It gives it a good good feel I think not too red but still red enough oh there's more doors over there maybe mine shaft let's see S looks like he's been mining out an area here uh, I've been sleeping here probably do beds work like that if they are down and half slept? I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't think they work when there's no block right next to them on the same level. So he's been he's been busy. I haven't seen uh, this area and I haven't seen the farm area yet. So he's been making some progress here. It's a nice spot to live in here, the desert and savanna right there. Nice hills. Yeah. Good view. So we only have a few minutes left here. What should I do? What should I do? Um We're only missing Ch Chase base and the Golem spawner. Um let's see, I think we're gonna do Maybe we can do both. Um, if I'm quick here. I don't want to go over time too much, but uh, at the same time it doesn't make sense to save, you know, five minutes or something like that and do another short episode. Um, so, I think I'm gonna try and finish this here. The whole tour in four parts, I think it's, it's a good length. And, um, after that, you know, it's gonna be new content, different content. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna build. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit it. If I'm gonna just, if I'm gonna do time lapses or just cuts and you know, showing the progress that I made. So. Oh wow, he finished or he fixed up the staircase, so maybe he did some work on his, on his base. I I haven't checked in on him in a few days, so he probably watched the Nether tour and <laughs> decided to fix up some stuff. So here is a nice door. Very nice door for his stable here, horse stable. It's a very cool, cool design. I, li I like the hay bales as a floor and as food here for the horses and the combination of the brick and uh, and the copper with the of the light wood, with the birch wood uh, on the floor and the oak for the, for the ceiling and for the support beams here. It looks really cool. I really like the stable. It, it's just maybe, uh, but I don't, I don't think he could uh, could have done it any any different. But it seems just a little too small for my taste. Just a little claustrophobic, maybe, but just a little bit. But I don't think, yeah, making it one block higher, I don't think it would make a lot of difference. But the design, I, I really like the design, I like the roof and you know the steady incline here. Not too sharp of an angle or too, yeah. Looks looks really cool. Um, here his horses. He even has gold horse armor here. I think he has one horse with diamond horse armor, but I'm not sure if he lost it or just misplaced it. Uh, lost as in 
it's dead. <laughs> or if it just can't find it. Seems like he bred up some cows. Last time I checked there weren't as many cows in there. Um, so let's quickly check out the downstairs part of his base. The ugly staircase. <laughs> um, yeah, he definitely needs to do some work here. And and down here he's probably not done anything. Oh no, he he has done a lot of work actually. There used to be the floor used to be uh, smooth stone, so he he placed the floor in here. He, I don't think he worked on this, but that's gonna be his storage area. Uh, he wanted to do a sorting system, but I'm not sure if he's still gonna do that or not. Or there is a collection area for for a skeleton uh, spawner. Right now he can't <laughs> he can't reach his bed, which is up there. Um, he has his farm area here. Just a, a very quick clock here and a bone meal in the dispensers, and you just stand here and spam the clicks, right click, left click. While the dispensers grow your your vegetables and stuff, so he has. I think he has it for set up for what carrots, potatoes. Oh, I think those are for emergencies if he uses up <laughs> all of them. And here he has he has stored them. Yeah, he has stored his bread and stored. Uh, big potatoes and his carrots, and he can just flip the lever and get a bunch of stuff that way. That's a cool, cool little uh, feature he has here in his base. I think up there is only the wiring. Yes. Over here, smelting area, uh, anvil here. Obviously not finished, but. Yeah, looks looks good. Very dark with the nether brick and the brown clay, but I think it fits the theme of sort of a furnace and work area here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it here downstairs. So let's quickly go back up. There's just a little bit more to show here. Um, he started building a house up there, but he never really finished it. So I'm just going to show you the outside. And that big cover thing here is a mob spawner idea that he tried to work out. Um, the idea was that there's basically the stairs, and you flush, as uh, so you wait for the mobs to spawn, and then you flip a lever, and you flush the mobs down with water and kill them. With a drop, but yeah, that that didn't really work. It's just not. I don't think there's enough spawning area here to make that really, really work. I mean, you'd, you'd have to light up everything around here, obviously, and and the caves to make it work, um, even remotely efficiently. So, yeah. And over here, he has a chicken farm. It used to be a normal chicken farm, and now it's a it's an automated chicken farm. Same design, I think, as uh, Danny used in his. If you already looked at today. Um, what else? There's a village up there, but it's you know, I mean, we built a few houses in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna show that. So let's quickly go to the Gorham spawner and end the episode there. I'm just a little bit over time here, but uh, doesn't matter. It's gonna take me forever to upload anyway, so few megabytes up or down shouldn't shouldn't be too big of a deal. So let's quickly run through the nether tunnel towards the Gorham spawner. Look at that, and then. 
finish of this series, the second s series finished after the Advent Calendar Portal openings, the server tour, and then, then it's, you know, gonna be new stuff. Building, I'm not sure. I already talked about this, didn't I? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna finish the western town, or at least start finishing up the buildings that are already there. There's still a few things that I would like to add, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And uh, in terms of collab stuff with the other guys on the server, I'm not too sure if they if they want to do anything. I talked with Jay a little bit about that. We might do an adventure map or something like that. Maybe CTM stuff. Um, just to have something to record together. I really enjoy recording with other people. It's obviously a lot more fun than recording alone. It's also easier to talk with someone than just talking to you guys since you can't really answer me uh, at least not in a timely fashion so I'm losing a bunch of frames here I'm not sure why that is so this is our iron farm which uh, as you might have heard already is gonna be nerfed in 1.8 they changed uh, the iron drops to a rare drop, so you have to actually kill the, the iron golems yourself. So you can't have a fully automated iron farm anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way, but it's it's like that in the new snapshot. And the same for gold farms, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens with those. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too much into the design here just showing it off um, and if I wasn't I don't know why I'm lagging so much right now that's really not cool so let's let's end the episode and end the server tour series here um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little series here this little four part series um, it was it was kind of fun recording, running around and looking at you know a bunch of different bases that I haven't visited in a while. So it was an update an update for me as well. Um, I'm gonna link Doc M's video on uh, the 1.8 changes for iron and gold farms in the video description. I'm also gonna add in the link to the tutorial on how to build the still in 1.7 still functioning automated fully automated iron farm um, and I'm gonna leave you at that so I hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did leave a comment if you have any questions or any feedback or any ideas for things I could do in future episodes uh, on the server here um, yeah and I will see you guys in the next episode Bye-bye.